Godfrey Chitalu, nicknamed Yuka, was a Zambian footballer who played as a forward. He is widely regarded as the greatest Zambian player of all time, as he holds the national team's goal-scoring record and was voted Zambian Footballer of the Year five times. In 2006, he was selected by CAF as one of the best 200 African footballers of the past 50 years. The Football Association of Zambia claimed that Chitalu scored more than 100 goals in all competitions in 1972, more than Gerd Muller's total in the same year and Lionel Messi's total in 2012, both of which are often referred to by journalists as world records. The research was presented in the year 2012 after Lionel Messi broke the alleged world record of Gerd Muller. Nevertheless, a FIFA spokesman declared that official FIFA world record had never existed as they did not keep track of domestic competitions. Chitalu was born in Luansha in the Copper Belt province in a tough neighborhood called Mikomfa, where the youth got involved in various vices besides playing barefoot football. It is believed that these early experiences helped shape his character. He studied in Mikomfa and managed to get a place in the school team at the age of 10. Shortly, he was surprised when the recreation officer, Mr. Benny Evans, invited him to Fisansa Youth Club for a trial, after which he started playing for the team as a center forward. Even though competition was stiff, Chitalu got into the under-15 district team and traveled to Bulawayo with the squad in 1958 as a reserve player and also took part in boxing. In 1959, he got a transfer to Kawama School in Kitwe, where he switched his position to inside left and became a regular first team player. While at Kawama, he joined the Kwacha Community Center team, where he played at center forward. During his three years at the center, Kwacha remained champions in Kitwe district. Chitalo's talent was noticed by a club trainer called Tirivavi who encouraged him to concentrate on playing football and forget about boxing. So he hung up his gloves, conditioned too by the fact that not too many boys of his age were interested in the sport. In 1962, he completed his primary education and left Kitwe. He went to stay with his elder brother in Chingola and continued his studies at Mushishima Secondary School and played for the school team at Inside Left. Chitalo returned to Kitwe and Kwacha in 1964 and then joined Kitwe United Reserve Team after being spotted by the chairman Jethro Ngwane, who was looking for young talent for his team. From 1964 to 1971, he played for Kitwe United where he was encouraged to keep playing by Emmett Kapengwe and improved his game. He was very strong and aggressive and admired Scottish player Dennis Law. Chitalu showed plenty of skill and also had a reputation for being temperamental and rough. In his own words, he could not stand being booted without retaliation. In 1968, he was named club captain and went on to score 81 goals for the club and country, which earned him Footballer of the Year. In 1971, he led Kitwe United to win the Chibuku Cup against Kabwe Warriors and later that year won his second Footballer of the Year prize. In 1971, Chitalu moved to Kawe with the intention of joining Kawe Warriors. At first, Kitwe United tried to stop the move by saying they would not release him, as the Warriors had caught a fish in the wrong waters. Kitwe United then slapped a transfer fee of 15,000 kwacha, which was more than seven times the record fee in Zambian football of 2,000 kwacha. Chitalu appealed to the National Football League and the transfer was eventually given the green light at a reduced fee of 3,500 kwacha. After missing the first six games of the season, Chitalu scored a hat-trick in the first game against Kalulushu Modern Stars. It was in this year that he started going by the nickname Yuka after the long-lasting Yuka batteries manufactured by Union Carbide. He won the league and the Chibuku Cup double in his first season at Kawe Warriors and ended the year as top scorer with 51 goals for the club and country. Upon retirement, Chitalu took to coaching and was in charge of the Zambia national team when the entire squad perished in a plane crash off the coast of Gabon on 27th April 1993.